for a brand new day in a brand new month eh. father we bless your name you kept us from january february march april may we are now in june the sixth month of the year father we bless your name daddy we worship you daddy we give you praise who are we who are we that you are mindful of us lord we bless your name thank you Thank you, Father. Thank you, our King. Thank you, our Helper. Our help in ages past. Father, we worship you. We give you all the praise this morning. We give you all the honor and adoration. All we have come to say this morning is thank you. And to reflect on all that you have done for us. Father, we say thank you. Lord, we say thank you. We worship you. We adore you. We give you all the glory. Thank you for the privilege of sleeping and waking up. Father, we give you praise. Take all the glory this morning. Take all the honor. We adore you. We give you all the praises, all the all majesty, all glory, all honor belongs to you this morning, oh God. Father, we bless your name. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your love. Thank you for keeping us under your shadow father we bless you thank you Lord. father we bless your name thank you father thank you daddy we worship you daddy we worship you daddy we worship you daddy malebra yatani nene kere bo soto li kere ye nana malibra ntali kere bo sata ya nana na kozi kete li kere father we worship you thank you jesus thank you jesus that is all we have come to do this morning. Just to worship you. Just to thank you. Just to adore you. And reflect of your goodness in our lives. Blessed be your name, O oh God. Father, as we worship, please accept our worship. Join us in worship. Holy Spirit, come and dwell among us this morning. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Help us to worship in truth and in spirit, O oh God. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen and amen and amen. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Yes, hallelujah. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are watching us from. Um, every Monday morning we come here to just, you know, praise our Father. In, like... I just come here to encourage ourselves in the word of God and to worship. That's all I've that's all the Holy Spirit leads me to do every Monday morning. And to appreciate God for his goodness over the past week or maybe you just cross over from another month into a new month. We come here to just reflect. We read the word of God, we encourage ourselves in the word and we worship. That's the major thing. We come to worship God and acknowledge him prepare our hearts for a new week that is what we have come here to do every monday morning and everyone that has been joining us every week we say thank you we are really we really really appreciate you you can also find these videos every monday we upload it to youtube if you miss it on facebook you can always go back on youtube to go and watch it or to um join the worship and just listen to what um you Maybe for a, maybe a week you missed or something. You can always go to YouTube and find me there under my name, Olua Shei. Um, this morning the Holy Spirit wants us to, you know, um, read the Psalm, Psalm 34. Like I said, this morning is all about worship and praise. So we're going to read Psalm 34 before we go into full worship and praise. Psalm 34, it says, I will bless the Lord at all times. 
His praise shall continually be in my mouth. My life makes his boast. I read, I, I read from Amplified Classic. That's my... That is my um, favorite... Um, my favorite... Uh, version, Bible version that I love to read. It says, My life makes its boast in the Lord. Let the humble and afflicted hear and be glad. Oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together as I'm calling all of, all of us this morning. Let us come together and exalt the name of the Lord. Let us magnify his name. Let's worship him this morning. Verse 4 says, I sought, inquired of the Lord, and required him of necessity and on the authority of his word, and he heard me. Isn't that amazing? That we call on him and he answers us. Is it that we are so righteous? No, it's because he loves us. That's why he listens to us. He loves us too much to leave us by ourselves. Hallelujah. Isn't that good? Isn't that wonderful? As I sought inquired of the Lord and required him of necessity and on the authority of his word. And he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. Is there any fear you are having this week? Is there something that has been on your mind for some week and you woke up this morning, you are still wondering how is this going to be fixed? He's telling you this morning he will deliver you. Hallelujah. They looked to him and were radiant. Verse 5. Their faces shall never blush for shame or be confused. The Lord is saying to us this morning that when we look upon him, when we look to him, we will not be ashamed. When we look to him, we shall never be confused. Because when we cast our cares on him... It, he says, cast your cares upon me, he, for he cared for you, for you and I. So, there is nothing that will be, we will never be put to shame. Is there something you are wondering and guessing and, you know, bothering your mind? How will this be well fixed, you know? Just be rest assured that you will never be put to shame. I, you and I will never be put to shame. You will never be confused in the mighty name of Jesus. We will never be confused. Hallelujah. Verse 6. Verse 6 says this. Verse 6 says, This poor man cried, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him. This poor man cried and the Lord heard him. Are you feeling like you, you, you are you, you poor or you feel like, oh, um, there's something missing or, oh, I feel like, you know how people say I'm broke. I will not be broke in Jesus' name. <laughs> but sometimes you feel like, ah, funds or cash is depleted in my account i need to do this 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 but money is not flowing the lord is saying this morning i heard you he will save you out of all your troubles he will save you hallelujah seven the angel of the lord encamps around those who fear him who revere and worship him with all and each of them he delivers these are reassuring words reminding us this morning that as we worship as we praise him he will, he will, he will be with us. He is already with us. He has never left. It's just a reassurance, reminding us again that He's our God, and He will always be there for us. He will always deliver us. Oh, taste and see that the Lord our God is good, blessed, happy, fortunate. I love this verse so much. Happy, fortunate, and to be envied is the man who trusts. And takes refuge in him. There's always some conditions about the promises of God. He's telling us this morning that when you taste and see how God, how good our God is, you'll be blessed, you'll be fortunate, you'll be happy, you'll be happy, and you'll be envied. I'm sure people are already looking at you and being like, how is this person doing it safe? Like, you know, they're always at peace. There is nothing bothering them, they don't feel bothered. <laughs> 
It's because you know the kind of father you have now. It's because I know the kind of father I have. Because I trust in him. He will never put me to shame. Hallelujah. Nine. Oh, fear the Lord. You, his saints, revere and worship him. For there is no want to those who truly revere and worship him. There is no want. Once we as we worship this morning, as we revere him with godly fear, we will never be put to shame in the name of Jesus. There is no want for us in the name of Jesus. He says the young lions do lack. They might suffer. The young lions lack food and suffer hunger. But they who seek inquire of the inquire of and require the Lord by right of their need and on the authority of his word none of them shall, shall lack any beneficial thing hallelujah this is this is wonderful this is young lions they might lack they might be one even lions you know how powerful lions are you can imagine how powerful lions are but their children sometimes they are hungry they don't there's no food for them to eat but they are telling us the word of god is telling us this morning that we that seek him we that seek him by the right of our need and the authority of on his word the authority of his word we shall never lack any good thing hallelujah come you children listen to me verse 9 i will teach you to revert and worshipfully fear the lord what man is he who desires life life and belong and, and longs for many days that he may see good keep your tongue from evil and your lips from speaking deceit depart from evil and do good seek inquire for and crave peace and pursue go after it depart from evil do good there's so many um instructions in this in in this um psalms 34 even though it's a psalm of praise it's a psalm of worship when david was acting like a fool trying to you know hide from his enemies but god is is a powerful psalm that when you read it it, it will show you how much god is telling us how wonderful it is when you worship god is a worth is a spiritual tool and warfare tool in the hand of of god that god help you helps us to use to to warfare in the spirit hallelujah it says this 15 the eyes of the lord are toward the uncompromisingly righteous and his ears are open to their cry the face of the lord is against those who do evil to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth when the righteous cry for help the lord hears <laughs> and delivers them out of all their distress and troubles the lord is close to those who are of a broken heart and save such as have crushed with sorrow for sin and are humble humbly and thoroughly penitent many evils confront the consistently righteous See, when I read Amplified class, I love the words they put there. It says consistently righteous. So, many evils will consistently show up for those that are consistently righteous. Like, so, not come, sometimes you compromise, sometimes, but if you are consistently righteous, be ready for persecution. Be ready for some things that might confront you that you, you don't like. He says, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. Hallelujah. He keeps all his bones. Not one of them is broken. Evil shall cause the death of the wicked. And they who hate the just and righteous shall be held guilty and shall be condemned. 22. The Lord redeems the lives of his servants. And none of those who take refuge and trust in him shall be condemned or held guilty none none of them who take refuge and trust in god shall be condemned or held guilty <laughs> i love this 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 psalm 34 so much when i read it, it reassures me that keep going 
things might look rough things might not look the way you want it to but look back <laughs> you are not where you used to be you have god has taken you from a to b you might not be at the g or i or you know that you actually want to be right now but if you look back you see that you have left a since <laughs> hallelujah i believe that's a word for somebody this morning you were somewhere before when you look back you will see how much and how far god has brought you and i i want us to thank god this morning let's begin to worship the name of the lord father we bless your holy name we magnify your name we bless your name we say there is none like you jehovah thank you jesus yes lord i am devoted to your grace and forever to your name you are good you are kind i have never seen your kind i am devoted to your grace and forever to you're my king, you're my guide, you are everything alright, I am devoted to your praise, and forever to your name, you're my king.
Father, we worship you, we adore you. Blessed be your name. Kados, kados, kados. <laughs> kados, we worship you. Kados, kados, kados. Kados, we worship you. Kados, kados, kados. Yes, Lord. Kados, we worship you. Take kados, 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 kados. Kados, we worship you. This is for faith. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
it is past. Lips are above my head. Stand by, I worship you. Thanksgiving shall be acceptable in the sight of God this morning. Have a blessed and wonderful week and shalom for now. See you next Monday. Thank you, Jesus.